So we're out here in the Atlantic Ocean, a few dozen miles off of the coast of New Jersey. We're about to walk through one of the coolest ships in the world, the Quantum of the Seas. Here we're going to learn how you power about 6,000 Wi-Fi devices using satellites, servers, and fiber. I'm John Biggs, and this is TechCrunch Makers. <laughs> Here with Bill Martin, the CIO of Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited. This is the most high-tech ship in the world. This is the Quantum of the Seas. Yes. And we're here on its maiden voyage, I guess, right? Well, we're on a pre-inaugural event. We'll do several okay. of these events. We did some of these in Southampton, England last week, and now we're doing some more here in New York before we uh, put revenue guests on. But the coolest thing about this thing is you basically have gigabit Ethernet throughout and massive download capacity. You basically have satellite connections that far surpass any other ship out there. Uh, roughly 300 times the capacity okay. <laughs> of a typical cruise ship. And uh, the latency, the speed at which we talk to mm -hmm. the satellites is also five times faster. Yeah. These are digital signs and they're very interactive. I won't even tell you what to do. I'll just let you play with it. All right, so we got a little deck map here. Yep. You can uh, select a place and you can enter a room number. And then you can also make reservations and stuff. So these are all connected. These are Samsung yep. TVs that are connected to the network. All of our ships have pervasive wireless now. Okay. And so we've learned a lot about how to manage with the steel. So when did this sort of pervasive data become important on ships? I think I've got two 20-somethings at home and, okay. an, and an 18-year-old <laughs> and a 12-year-old. And they won't go on a vacation where they can't stay connected sure. to their friends. So that's a challenge, um, particularly at sea, which is why three years ago we engaged a company called O3B Networks. Mm -hmm. And that stands for the other three billion people on the planet that don't have access to high-speed internet. And their mission is to bring high-speed internet to them. So they came up with a, a very new satellite technology. Most of those people that they're trying to serve are around the equator, mm -hmm. which also happens to be where we do most of our cruising. <laughs> From the, the ship's property management system to tech ops and satellite communications to the project management office to the uh, interactive TV and the mobile apps, uh -huh. as many as uh, 200, 250 people working out of here. Um, and then they will work here for a little while and then they'll go to wherever it is that they need to work. And we have over 900 mobile devices, a bunch of boxes over there of iPad Airs, all three operating systems in, in the tablets that we use, okay. depending on the application. We have Windows tablets, we have uh, iOS tablets, and we have uh, Android tablets. Why don't we go ahead over and look at the data center? Cisco infrastructure we have on board is, is made up of 6500s, 6513s. We're almost like a carrier to our guest. Okay. Uh, we provide services, anything from IPTV, voice over IP, CCTV, anything that has IP on it, we're running it on this infrastructure. All the cabling infrastructure from the different parts of the vessel converge here in this computer room. We have server infrastructure that is made up of the UCS uh, with virtualized servers that go upwards of 200 virtualized systems on board. Most people think that when you're going to offer that much increased capacity and that much speed of fiber from the sky that somehow we're going to charge more for it. It's, mm -hmm. it's just the opposite. We're flipping the business model. In the old world, you had to charge more to prevent people from using okay. it. In this new supply world, I've got plenty of supply, so the pricing will be like 12 to $15 a day if you buy the, the week package, right. and that's what we want. We want people mm -hmm. talking about their experience on board. We want okay. them posting on Instagram or Facebook. Now, isn't that a little frustrating? Because you come on here, well, you're not really on vacation or whatever, but if you're on vacation, you always have email. At yeah. some point, you're going to want to throw your, your phone into the water. Well, you're welcome to throw your phone in the water All if right. you want to. Okay. Um, but uh, the idea here is for millennials and the people that say they don't want to be disconnected, <laughs> uh, who really are the first people to ask for, why can't I get connected? Um, it's, we're recognizing that, that that's the world we live in, really. We're out on deck, just above the pool deck, to show you the, the satellite dishes that we use on board. What we've got behind us are large domes and smaller domes. There's eight of them in total. Three of those are the smaller ones, which are the O3B domes. The, um, they use the KA band, so the antennas are actually a little bit smaller. All right, well, thank you very much for All showing right. us around. This has been one of the funnest tours we've ever been on. Good. I'm John Biggs. This has been TechCrunch Makers. Thanks for watching. <laughs>